Hey guys, I'm Nixie Nova, and this week there have been four snapshots which have added a lot of cool stuff. So, if we look at the F3, this is 18W10D, so that means there have been four snapshots this week, and as you can see here and here, a lot of stuff has been added. So first up is Tropical Fish, you can spawn it using these spawn eggs, or they spawn in warm ocean biomes. So you can see there's lots of different types, and I got two in a row there. There are actually 3,000 of these, so as you can see, there are a lot, and we're not getting too many double ups. There we go, now we have a lot of fish. You can also capture them in buckets, like all the other fish, so if we go and right click on one, we now have a tropical fish in a bucket, and you can place it on land and watch it flop around. They have also added sounds for fish flopping now. And fish swimming if we go near them. Like that. And they've also changed the sounds for going in and out of water. Uh, this map also showcases the underwater ruins. And if we go into and get the loot from one here, you can now find buried treasure maps, which have an X on them, which I have no idea which direction this is. But you will find these, and if you can somehow find the treasure, there's also a chest in here. Does it have the same? Yep, they have the same, okay. And if you find the treasure, so let's go back to here. If you can somehow manage to find the treasure, which will be down here, so we just to let you know this is not, I've, I haven't placed it. Okay, it's giving me another one right here. You can see you get diamonds, iron, fish, emeralds, TNT, leather tunics, gold, and more fish. So you get quite a lot of good stuff from this, and I've just gotten a few achievements. Now also over here I can showcase the new frozen ocean biome that was added two snapshots ago uh, okay so this is the frozen ocean biome uh, it's quite cool you can't see below quite well and under it it is full of gravel now if we can find our way back to home okay let's just uh, slash kill okay that was great but, as I was going to show, Phantom, if we spawn it, you will see it has a new model, and it also burns in daylight. So, if we go up here and summon a big Phantom, that will now die, okay? They are now undead, which is why they are burning right now. So, if we spam it with Harming Potions, it will actually heal it. If we can... Where, where's the hitbox? Okay, it, it seems to have burnt. Uh, let's go back up here and do it. So if we just summon a new one and throw healing at it, you can see the healing will kill them faster and the harming will not kill them. It will actually heal them. So just like skeletons and zombies, they now have the same behavior and just burn and die faster if you throw healing at them. So next, there are markers on this map. So there's a big tree there, there's a big lake there, there's a lake, subscribe, there's a beach, there I've marked all the underwater ruins. So if you want to add something to your map, all you need to do is get a banner, let's get a green banner, and a map. So you open your map, you see we are here, we can go over to a banner, and if you right click the banner, it will come up as a marker. If we get an anvil, and rename it to OK or something, then we place it down and right click it, you see it'll say OK on the map. And also different maps will not show the same thing, so this is our map right. See, on this map it just says OK in green, and on this map it says beach, lake, subscribe, and some underwater ruins. So, you can have different maps for different people, and it will give them different markers. 
So this will be great for map making. Uh, if you want to give people like, go find this or something. This is a very cool new feature that people weren't really asking for. Another big part to this update is the fact you can now put water source blocks inside semi-transparent objects such as fences, stairs, slabs and everything else down here. So chests, ender chests, trap doors, signs, iron bars, cobblestone walls and glass panes except for these ones you can place it and then you have to put the source block in it. So yeah, you can just place water sources inside all the blocks and yep that's pretty cool so you can make little half slab ponds or you can have sugarcane farms which you can walk between instead of using lily pads you can also now push the water source blocks if you put them inside blocks so if we just put this there that'll just destroy that but if we put the block then you can now push the water source block as far as you want I've already seen uh, one redstoner use this uh, Mumbo Jumbo made a flying machine with water in it so you can just use anything and push it as far as you like. The Trident now also has a new model so if you look at it on my hotbar you can see it doesn't go below the bar like it used to. It used to just go straight up and down and went halfway down into the box below. Now that is no longer the case. And also coral, they have changed the texture and added coral plants which you can place underwater of all the different colours. You cannot place it on land though. And dead coral now comes in the five different types so we, if we have red coral it will change into red dead coral. Just a cool little new feature added here. Yeah there's a lot of fish and it's lagging a lot. See and uh, set this up. So you can look at fish. And uh... You gonna burn? Okay, apparently skeletons cannot burn inside... What is this? Put a skeleton inside a bush. Okay, this is Fortnite in Minecraft. This is it for this snapshot. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, till next time, bye.